Welcome back trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at which weather boosted shiny Pokemon did I find because it's been partly cloudy. So the rock type shinies are in fact weather boosted uh, and it was windy. So the flying types are weather boosted as well. Some of them are, some of them aren't. We're going to just go through all of these raids that I've done to see which shiny I was able to get. Okay. And this is exciting guys, because wow. Um, it's it's really nice to get this specific shiny that I'm gonna get and let me give you a warning Do not read the comments if you want to be surprised Don't even scroll down because you're gonna find the answer right away. If you want to be surprised watch the whole video um, And that's pretty much it after this we're gonna be taking a look at all of my shiny Pokemon and I was thinking about looking at all my 100s as well. We'll probably do something with that um, but for now, we're just going to go through all of these raids to see if which shiny I was able to get. And this specific raid right here is pretty interesting. First time I've ever in, done anything like this with a with weather boosted dragons. Um, so basically, it's just windy weather using all my strong dragon types up against an Aerodactyl raid. This is the only raid you're going to see in its entirety. Other than that, it's just going to be the finishing, you know, animation, and then going into the catch screen to see if it's shiny. So with that said, trainers, sit back, relax. Let's see which shiny weather boosted Pokemon I was able to find. And after that, I'll be back to talk about all my shinies and 100% IV Pokemon. So let's get into this.
Oh, there you have it, trainers. Finally found my shiny Ho-Oh. You do not know the reaction that I had. Oh my gosh, I was just, I, I was amazed that it was a weather boosted one and I wasn't even trying. It wasn't even in my mind to like, oh, get a shiny. I was just thinking, oh, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll catch a good IV weather boosted. The shiny thing was just gone. I don't, I, you know, at this point I did what is like 55, no, 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 like 60 raids of hoes at this point. We'll, we'll go take a look at that in just a second. But guys, I did it. Weather boosted shiny. It is a 70 six percent it's not great but at the same time when you compare that to a 100 it's so minuscule but anyways um i'm happy i got mine shiny weather boosted ho oh, oh so we're looking at my 100 iv pokemon right here uh, i put a dot in front of all of them because there's no possible way to actually check the like search for them under 100 i feel like there should be an option maybe and i also think that they shouldn't let you transfer anything that's like a 90 percent and up it should say are you sure and i know a lot of people will probably get really annoyed by that because that means more time to transfer like uh, a party hat pikachu and legendaries that you just don't want to keep and you need to transfer a bunch you've been doing a bunch of raids and it takes a, that extra time but i think it would it would make for a good feature because you're getting rid of some pokemon you, you don't know that you're i wonder how many hundreds i transferred to be honest while i'm grinding so let's go ahead and take a look at this then we're gonna look at my shinies really quick and yeah, that, that'll about do it, guys. So, woo-wee. Now I just need to get an Aerodactyl and those other two. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm just, uh, it was amazing. So we have my Groudon. We'll go by CP. Let's actually, let's go by uh, Recent. Oh, look at the Ho-Oh. And we have a freak here. A freak, like, uh, experiment or some sort of freak of nature. I, I don't know what, what happened here. So any anybody who knows anything about this game and... And 100% IV hatches, right? Knows that when you hatch a Phoebus at 125 CP, that means 100% uh, IV for that Pokemon, right? For Phoebus. But we have a little weird thing here. Of course, I get this weird little problem. So we go and we're going to go appraise, right? Let's take a look. Overall, it's simply amazing. So we're looking at Golden here, right? You would assume, oh my gosh, I hatched 100. Yeah, I can't believe I hatched 100 Phoebus. 100 Melodic, here I come. Not the case with me. <laughs> HP. Attack. Which is great, you know? I'm happy with that. Wow, I'm blown away. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait what? What about the defense? I'm happy it's lower defense and all, but... It's a 14 defense. I didn't know you can hatch the perfect 100% number, but yet still not get a 100% IV Pokemon. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. So uh, I'm still going to include him, even though it's not a 100. I wanted to put that up there so you guys can see. So I'm spending too much time focusing on that one Pokemon here. So we're going to go down to the bottom and start moving up. So first one we have, and if I go and talk about all these, this video is going to be a long one. So I'm going to make this as brief as I can. So this is my first one, obviously, right? Good old Flareon. Nice. Very strong. Uh, then we have my 100 Dugong. All right. And Gyarados. I have a couple of these and I haven't powered them up because I powered up my 96 or 98 first. And at that point, I was just thinking Gyarados is not great. I mean, he's good attacker as a water attacker and all, but back in the day when the level 10 gems were there the only use that it had was to put that crown on top of the gym if you wanted to have that ego and you wanted to be on top of all the gyms you power up a bunch of gyaradoses and you go on top of the gyms and i had no interest in that because i knew that they would be taken out super easy by electric attackers it's not even like I mean, you're not trying to say gyaros is bad but that's what it was used for and that's when i got these look see as you can see 2016 2016 so yeah that's back when i yep og kush has been a great addition to my team and i don't if i look at all the dates here we go all right then we have uh crobat very nice very nice slow king completely maxed out that is <laughs> the kilometers oh man poor guy my bad buddy we'll walk you next time right then we have uh venusaur here got that through a no that's not a raid that was a hatch might yeah pretty sure it was a hatch it just shows a pokeball because before the update that's what it'll show is just one pokeball i guess i don't know uh, rock steady is going to become the beast riperior whenever that comes out which probably will take an evolution item then we have puff completely maxed out 
Hey. And then this silly one here. Nonsense. Uh, I'm keeping it because it's at 100. Then this one I got through a raid. Yeah, there we go. Raid for sure. Then Brass. That is my Machamp, of course. And look at the Yeah. When I don't want my Pokemon to be fed, they're fed. But when I want them to be fed, they're not fed, right? Ah. <laughs> 100 Snorlax. Now, this is quite a prize, folks. This is how I caught it. 2300 CP. That's it. I mean, I didn't power it up. I, I just caught it like that. that. That's insane. And if you're wondering, you should power it up. It's like, well, for what? For what? To drop it in a gym? I don't like dropping in normal types. I drop in um, slacking because I'm doing a lot of, you know, driving drops and I don't really have time. But to invest to Stardust, it's, it would be great. I mean, it's 100 Snorlax. One day. One day. It's just not ideal for me at the moment. Then we have 100 Houndoom. That is <laughs> nice as well. 100 Gengar. Unfortunately, no Shadow Claw. Hex, which is doesn't fall far behind. Shadow Claw. That's fantastic. He needs to be powered up one day. I'm just thinking I need to save my Gengar candies in case some sort of weird ghost event happens. And then all of a sudden, you know, shiny Gengar. Or new moveset. You know. Anyway. Uh, then we have the EV 100. Oh, man. That's, whew, that's a prize right there because it can be any of them. Uh, then we have um, <laughs> Otto right here. It's just silly. Yeah, random. <clears throat> then we have Groudon. Now, this is... <laughs> wow. I didn't know this was 100 when I caught it. And that's probably why it was so easy to catch it. Because I wasn't nervous. <laughs> and then we have Sceptile here. Uh, fantastic. I love this Pokemon. I really do. Cool design. And it's going to get a Mega one day. It's going to be uh, Dragon and Grass type. That's going to be crazy. Uh, then we have Metacham. And yeah, this is a good Pokemon. It's just weak, unfortunately, for now until it gets its Mega. Then I have another Metatite here, 100. Uh, then we have Blaziken, 100. Nice. And then Pichu, 100. What? His mouth looks weird. It looks a little glitchy. So that's pretty rare part or uh, Santa hat Pichu 100. Now I just need it to be shiny and then I have one of the rarest things in the game. And then we have 100 Swampert looking at really low CP, but nonetheless it's 100. And this Pokemon is actually pretty good to use. Uh, Whale, Lord, <laughs> Whale Lord 100, all right. And a Plusle, all right. I think I have two, I have two Plusles. And then this <laughs> Wish Cast is, yeah, low. Uh, community day. I'm saving this for some sort of special event if it does receive one. Since we did not see a shiny Geo dude, I'm thinking we might get a community day uh, Geo dude. So we'll just have to see. We'll see. I'm saving it, and then we have Brayloo 100. I should have powered this and maxed this out instead of my other one, even though my other one's great too. But this is a 100. I should have just bit the bullet and coughed up the extra hundred and 20,000 Stardust to completely max it out. But that's all right, we'll do that one day because Breloom is fantastic. Then we have Hariyama at half CP. So I'm not powering that up <laughs> anytime soon. Then we have my other Plusle here. Community day, 420 Vulpix. <laughs> it's pretty cool, 100% IV right there. Um, fantastic, so that's pretty neat. And then we have a 100 Ninetales already and super like powered up i didn't power it up i caught it like that so ooh, looking good and then we have a right on 100 for community day so wait for that i'm not if they have cd i'm not just i'm assuming they're gonna get a community day or something special is gonna happen and i'm just gonna want a 100 on hand okay and then we have a 100 kakuna um yeah that that's um that it's a kakuna right uh, this is actually going to be quite valuable when Gen 4 drops. A Sneasel 100, which I can evolve it to Weavile 100. Should be... Eh, we'll see. We'll see how good it is. It is a Glass Cannon, Weavile, Ice, and Dark. Or, sorry, Dark and Ice type. So we'll just see how the performance is. Maybe I'll look at the stats and talk about that someday uh, soon. Because it's actually going to be fun to use. And then we have a Ralts 100. This is super valuable. I... I am very, I'm seriously contemplating powering this up, maxing it out, evolving it, everything, you know, the whole shebang, because, well, it's a 100. And Gardevoir, I won't, don't want to say it's underused, but it's so, it's like a, it's so good. I don't, I think everybody should have a six, but it's probably because 
they're still hard to find. That's why people don't have much. But just look at the CP. I caught this like this. So it is a female, so it would be going to Gardevoir. But I want to wait in case it gets a community day quick move. So a fairy community day quick move. And I think that's what they're waiting for. So this isn't going to get evolved right now. Then we have a Bell Sprout 100. That's cool. Uh, another Dragonite 100. Um, and then we're, we're approaching the end here. My Rayquaza 100. And Machop Community Day 100, which I don't know what move it would get. That would be even better than Dynamic Punch. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe a Dark type charge move might benefit it. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily make it better than the current Machamp. It would just make it a better counter gem dropping Machamp, which would be great because in the main series games, I did run a dark type uh, move on mine just in case somebody pulled out a Psychic and I had Focus Sash. So if you're not familiar with the main series games, there's an item that you can put on your Pokemon called Focus Sash where you can you have to have full health now. And if they hit you and def like literally one hit KO you with full health, you'll have one HP left. So if you know and predict that they're going to do some sort of super psychic move, flying move, super effective, m more than likely it's gonna be a psychic type, the enemy, all right, your opponent, because you're gonna be using that dark type move. So you'll have one health left. You use that dark, it's called payback, and it's gonna do double the damage if you go second, which more than likely you will, <laughs> all right? And so it's gonna completely destroy that psychic type. So you flick them away, it's fantastic, and then, you have a quick move like Bullet Punch just to get a little bit of extra damage in there before you're uh, knocked out when the next Pokemon comes in. So, a little history on that. <laughs> then I have a 100 Latias. Oh, sorry, Latios. That's cool. I got that one when I did Five Man in the morning. That was pretty fun. And then this joke. <laughs> and then finally, my 100 Ho Oh. Ha! All right, guys. So. I'm just going to briefly show you my shinies. We're not going to go through them like that because this video is going to get quite lengthy. So we'll go recent. And there it is in all its glory, guys. A 76% weather boosted shiny Ho-Oh. And if you're like, oh, well, it's only 76. I mean, <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. I don't mind. I'll take it any day. Seriously. Um, I'm happy. I wouldn't care if it was the lowest. I 10, 10, 10, 10. Or that's an extra 10. You know, three tens all around. I would be happy with that weather boosted i looked at how much i need to it would take to max it out it was like a hundred and twenty five thousand stars i might be wrong but it was a it was a lot lower than what it usually takes so if i do power up anything it's going to definitely be my 100 percent iv uh -oh. okay so let's just go down the line here from most recent to oldest shinies so as you can see got quite a few charmanders um and then I got, you know, I did fairly well for that showdown event. And then I caught a Magikarp for that water event. Of course, I didn't find a Whelmer. Still don't have one, as you can see. And then I did quite well on the Mareep event as well. And then between the Bulbasaur and the Mareep event, I found a shiny Aeron. <laughs> Little weak 83 CP. Shiny is a shiny, right? And then I did quite well on the community day for Bulbasaur. Ooh, wee. Especially with my cannabis. Wow, this one is really good IV appraise it simply amazing hp attack defense so it's it's fresh it's really good not 100 but it's darn good for a shiny too and then between the dragonite event uh and the bubble store event i caught a shiny abzul shiny lugia and shiny shop it so that's pretty good and then we have my jertinis which i do fairly well on all community days i have a grind pattern down that can never be broken um, so it's just going to keep that up. And then for the other events in between all those, as you can see from the Pikachu event to the Dratini event, I got all those, got that shiny Aeron, involved it to Agron. I caught it on my fourth shiny or my fourth Aeron encounter. That's when I caught my first. That was crazy. So as you can see, I only have two Pikachus from the event. Because I didn't know, I, you've, you may have heard me say this before, I didn't know it was going to be like so abundant. I caught my shinies, I was like, oh my gosh, I got a shiny Pikachu. And I came home and I edited my video and I did what I had to do. And it takes me several hours to, to edit them and stuff. So by the time I was done, well, you know, the event was over. Which I knew 
Um, but now that I figured it out, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna grind the whole time. And then, as you can see, before any events, my first one was a shiny magic carp during the water festival. And then I hatched this um, shiny Pichu the day I caught my first Mewtwo. So that's the day I caught my first Mewtwo right there. Pretty cool. And then I, you know, these ones right here, caught this one at my house, caught this one, which was a Shuppet, don't know where. And then obviously that, obviously that one's from a raid. So there you have it, folks. I hope you liked that video, my 100%, my shiny Pokemon, and that anticipation to see which shiny I found. Fantastic. One down, several more to go. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll be catching you on my next video. Take care.